A man trying to break into an Otto County home ca was caught thanks to technology installed one day before by the owner. A lot of people have neighbors that are more intense about their home security systems, but not many have a story like this one. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter Noah, reporter Noah Fromson is in the Information Center with this crazy story, Noah. Yeah, Nina Val, a captain with the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office said neighborhoods like this one in Blendon Township can be typical targets for daytime home invasions, but this isn't the first time that this growing tech trend has helped them solve cases. It's a really quiet area. Neighbors don't just know each other's names on Stanton Street. They're friends. I never even locked my truck, which obviously turned out to be a bad idea. Leaving his vehicle open last weekend cost Nick Van Geese 12 bucks, but in a way, it saved him even more. So I took it upon myself to install a ring camera alarm system, and it wasn't even one day later I had a notification of movement at my property. The camera showed a man in a bright colored shirt jockeying with the door with one hand covered by the material. Van Geest called the police and watched them arrive on the live feed. And he was still uh, in the yard of, of the residence. Uh, he very quickly then ran from, uh, from the units and a perimeter was set up. Canine units were uh, deployed and ultimately one of the canine units did find him. The swarm of police cars and the SWAT vehicle came with the information that the suspect could have been armed. Captain Mark Bennett with Ottawa County says the 38-year-old suspect knew Van Geest and that substance abuse problems may have factored into the motive. That he was injured uh, running away. He uh, fell down uh, while uh, running through a field, so he's being treated for that non-life-threatening injury right now. The small circle over the doorbell is showing up at more and more homes, and Bennett says they've cut daytime home invasions drastically in Ottawa County. Even the last couple of years, the technology that uh, we've been able to access to to help solve crimes. But not many that have wrapped up. This was all very quick. This rapidly. This is a little unusual. In Blendon Township, Noah Fromson, 13 on your side.